Hi, I'm Rochelle from Bananas and Beauty, and today I'm going to share with you some helpful tips on how to stay calm when things get stressful. And sometimes school can get stressful or work or whatever you might be going through, and I thought I'd share some of the things that helped me. So before I get started, um, this YouTube channel is probably going to have a lot of, um, I'm thinking about having some, some recipes. I'm going to try and make them pretty healthy and cheap because I think that's what a lot of people want maybe some help with and um, so I'll try and make that useful and um, also I'm going to try and have some uh, tutorials for makeup, um, maybe some hair tutorials and some other things. So yeah, so without further ado here's some, <laughs> some tips on how to stay calm when you're stressed out. So the first thing that I have to give advice to is, you know, try to breathe. I know that sounds really kind of funny, but it's amazing what just breathing can accomplish. Like if you just take things one step at a time and just concentrate on your breathing, like if you're in the middle of a really stressful situation and you just take the time to, you know, breathe in and out and really focus on what, what you're, what you're breathing what, what your breathing's doing, it, it really helps to calm you down. That, that's what happens to me. And another thing um, is uh, I like to drink tea and that really helps to calm me down. Like I'll have some tea before I go to bed, maybe if I had a really long day with a lot of homework or, you know, things like that. Um, one of the teas that I really like is chai and some chais aren't as good as others honestly but this one is really good it's this stash chai um, spice and it's actually it's really good it's probably my favorite and I like it I like to heat up a little almond milk on the stove and then pour it over the, the um, chai tea with just a little water to get it stronger and it's really good and it's it's very soothing and comforting and it doesn't it's, it doesn't have that many calories and it's pretty good. Um, I also like this mint tea and you can get the one that's uncaffeinated too if you want it like just before bed and I think it's really good and apparently spearmint is supposed to be really good for your skin too so that's that's pretty good. And also another thing that helps calm you down is exercise and um, even if you don't really have time to exercise, I know that a lot of people have trouble with that, I have trouble with that and um, sometimes if I'm doing homework or you know I'm, I'm just in my routine I, I forget to do that and then my body doesn't feel quite as good and I get even more stressed so sometimes when I'm studying or whatever I just take a little bit of a break and I go and I you know do some jumping jacks or a walk or if I don't have a time for a walk then I might just do some you know Pilates or like I said just little things you know get my heart rate up and it really does help a lot. It helps you to feel a lot more, you know, exhilarated and a lot better. And that that really does help. And something that also helps with uh, dealing with stress is feeling, you know, more confident about about yourself. And sometimes that's difficult, like when you're under stress. But when you when you feel confident, you generally are a little more positive, and that helps with stress because. It can really weigh you down and really get to you after a while, especially, like I said, high school or college, working, it, it it gets pretty crazy. And if you stay positive and you have confidence in yourself, then you know that eventually you'll get through this stressful time and it'll be a lot easier for you. And so that really helps. Um, and another thing that uh, at least helps me is I try to um, keep a couple of things routine and then a couple of things I try to mix up. And I know that sounds like it contradicts itself, but if you have a couple things in routine, like maybe maybe your diet or, um, I don't know, one of your hobbies that you do at a certain time and you just make sure that you have time for that, then... Um, even if you have a lot of work to do or you're under stress but you have that certain time where it's your time um, it just helps a lot to deal with your stress and like I said also some things you want to leave open because 
when you're under stress, usually you have things going like all the time and that's really difficult. So in that time that you have for yourself, it's also good to leave time open for, I don't know, doing something you like. So that's really good. So to sum it up, um, to help with your stress, it's important to breathe and drink tea, or if you don't like tea, maybe just have water, or um, I like to start my mornings off with lemon water, and I feel very cleansed and happy and just ready to go. And like I said, making just a little time for a little exercise really helps with stress, and also staying confident and positive, it really helps a lot too. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any suggestions or um, any ideas, requests for any videos for the things that I mentioned, like tutorials for makeup or hair or um, uh, like any more like talking videos like this, then just put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and say so and ask for a few more. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!